Hi, I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to discuss how to get your gaming keyboard and your gaming mouse connected to your KVM switch and have them work correctly. Now, the problem that a lot of gaming mice and a lot of gaming keyboards and a lot of advanced keyboards and advanced mice have with KVM switches is many KVM switches uh, do not support two-way communication through the keyboard and the mouse USB ports on the switch itself. Because the USB port does not communicate in two directions, the gaming keyboard or the gaming mouse or even more specialized keyboards and mice that need two-way communication may not be detected by the drivers and the software for the particular uh, keyboard and mice. So that's a problem. Now there's a way around this. This particular switch is an IO Gear DVI 4 port USB KVMP switch. And the P stands per, for peripheral. And so there's a USB port, actually two USB ports, one on the front and one on the back, that are for any peripheral. And so it's a full USB port, so it communicates back and forth. So what I was able to do was I got a two port USB hub and I connected the mouse and the keyboard into it and I connected it into the back USB peripheral port on this particular switch and now both are detected by the software uh, so they work fine with this the only caveat on it in this particular switch you'll see there's a green light here and a bright yellow light if I hit this button once the bright yellow light goes over which means it's switched the keyboard and the monitor but the green line has stayed because that's the peripheral. So you have to make sure that you move the peripheral over first. So you have to make sure you move the peripheral over as well. And that, that will activate the mouse and the keyboard using the peripheral uh, USB port on this particular switch. This particular switch has a, a separate uh, way to move the USB peripheral because you may want to keep that peripheral or the peripherals on a particular computer when you switch over and look to a different monitor. Uh, so that you'll have to look in your particular switch uh, instructions unless you have this particular switch. So that's how you get a gaming keyboard or a gaming mouse or both to work with a KVM switch. Now you may have to experiment on your particular switch uh, to see if things vary, but just make sure you get a switch that has a separate peripheral port on it that will communicate two ways. The other way to get around the problem with a gaming keyboard and a gaming mouse is to get a more expensive KVM switch that actually supports two-way communications through the keyboard and the mouse. The, key, the switches that support gaming keyboard and mice through the regular keyboard USB port and mouse USB port on the switch, from what I understand, are the more expensive switches. So the workaround is to just ensure you have a switch that has a peripheral USB port that has two-way communication in it. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy technology. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.